Okay, we're on our third video with the unit circle. In the first one, we established the seven key points, which you see right here, which are based on, we looked at it using a fast technique, but also looked at it using special triangles. We looked at the fact that arc length and angle measure are the same in radians in a unit circle, because the radius in one is one. Now we're going to look at something I mentioned in the first video, but should be really thought about carefully. It's essentially you understand this. I said that when you have a point in the unit circle, what's nice about it is that the x value of any point on the unit circle is the cosine, and that the y value is the sine. How can that be, right? What's going on? So let's just do a quick sketch down here. So what I would do is I would redraw the unit circle really quick for yourself. So get your ruler, your paper clips, your compass, whatever you're doing to draw this out, and make sure you've got a unit circle that you can clearly read and label. So I'm going to draw that too. So here's my unit circle. Okay. So you've got a unit circle. I've got a unit circle. Let's draw this out to make sense of why x is cosine and y is sine. So we'll look at one example. We'll look at pi over four radians. So we'll look at and we'll look at the the angle measure here, theta. Okay. So theta is pi over four. And what is happening is that, in this case, r is 1. That's a special feature. And that's going to lead to cosine being x and sine being y, that r is 1. Because if you drop a perpendicular down here, there's our right angle. In this triangle, it's a 45, 45, 90. Again, because pi over 4 is 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. And if the hypotenuse is 1, if r is 1, and these two sides are the same length, they're both the square root of 2 over 2. There's a nice little, little proof of that in the textbook, but I'll leave that alone here. And that means that this point is, of course, the square root of 2, the x value down here, and then the square root of 2 over 2, the y value there. Now, we defined sine as what? Well, we defined sine of an angle, or it could be of an arc length, because arc lengths and angles are the same here. The sine of an angle is equal to what? Opposite over hypotenuse, or we define it as y over r, right? It's the y value of the point over the distance from the origin. That was our new definition. And we also said that cosine of theta is x over r, but we're in a unit circle, right? Cosine is x over r. What's going to happen? Well, in a unit circle, r is, r is 1. That's amazing. That means that sine of theta is y over 1, or just y, and the cosine of theta is x over 1, or just x, and there you can see it. In a unit circle, we can just say the sine is y, and the cosine of the angle or arc length is x. So if I give you a point, if I said, okay, we're looking at the point pi over radical 2 over 2, radical 2 over 2, what's the sine, what's the cosine? The sine of that angle or arc length, in this case pi over 4, is radical 2 over 2. The cosine of that arc length or angle measure is pi over 2 over 2. And that's a great feature of the unit circle.